Hey, Jake, uh, you were playing pretty well during your, your last stint of playing time. So when that's the case, does that make it even more difficult or confusing, I guess, when you get taken out of the rotation? No, I mean, there was, a, there was also other guys who were, who were playing really well, um, you know, and coach had a tough, tough decision to make with that. Um, and, and that's what he chose. Um, but, you know, that, that doesn't make me discouraged or anything. You know, I'm, I'm always going to stay ready. Does that come from maybe being in similar spots and knowing how to handle those situations? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've said it before. You know, I've, I've been through that kind of thing before where I, I played and then not played and then played again. Um, so, you know, I think I'm definitely prepared if, if, if that happens again or if, if I'm in the rotation now. How about on a night like tonight where, I mean, yeah, the team's a little lethargic, but you haven't played in a few games um, and it's a 16-point game in the third. Probably have no idea that you're going to be checked in. Um, how – how do you go about staying ready for a spot like that? So you're ready immediately when you get your name gets called. Um, you know, I, I think you, you kind of have a feel for the game um, and, and, and how it's going and how we're playing, um, you know, to see if, if coach might, might, might throw some new guys in there. Um, if guys aren't, aren't playing too well or aren't playing hard or something like that. Um, I think, I think tonight was one of those feelings. Um, and then at halftime coach actually came to me and said, just, just, just be ready. Um, yeah, I was. John, go ahead. Jake, when, when you did get in there, what did you really just try to bring to that group and what did work for you guys to, to get you back into it as quickly as you did? Um, I mean, I wasn't really trying to bring one certain thing. I think I was just trying to play, play my usual game, you know, play hard, make some cuts. Um, you know, I was, I was happy to make, make some threes out there for us, uh, which felt good um, to, to get me going as well. Um, especially on, on the uh, defensive end. I um, mean, you know, it wasn't just me. You know, I think that whatever group I was in there with, um, you know, we, we were getting stops, we were getting out and running um, and, and making some good, some good plays for us to get that lead back. This is a team that, you know, you guys were having a tough time with kind of getting blown out early in the season and losing a lot of lopsided games. Lately, it's been really close down the stretch. What have you seen in the progress of this group? But then also, what do you think it's going to take just to get over that hump to start turning some of these close losses into wins. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's a great point. You know, I think that's, that's huge progress. You know, I think I think it would have been easy, you know, um, early on in the season. You know, we we were getting blown out a lot. To say, you know, we're we're a young team. You know, it might just just be one of those years. Um, but no, I, I think I think our, our our team just kept working, kept working on on the little things, which, which is our defense. I mean, I think our, our defense has picked up a lot. Um, and yeah, I mean, just like you said, the, the end of games have, have have not gone our way recently. Um, you know, I think I think all we can do is just is go back and, and keep watching the the films from those games and, and learn from from those mistakes. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think I think the biggest thing for us um, is probably going to be getting stopped that, that down the stretch when when they when they really matter the most. Um, you know, I think turnovers have have hurt us some games. Um, down the stretch. Um, so you know, there, there's definitely some things that, that, that we can control um, on our end. You have a uh, history of pretty good dunks yourself. Um, what do you think of Ant? Uh, I think that, that was one of the best dunks that I've, I've ever seen live, um, honestly. Uh, it was pretty incredible. Um, I, think, I think everyone that was, that was in, in that arena tonight felt, felt the same way. Dane? Jake, when you came into the game, it felt like, you know, if you had an inch, like you were going to take the shot there and, and just really being kind of uh, maybe more aggressive to your shot than, than you were um, earlier in the season. Is that, is, is that a you thing or is that what the game needed? Um, I, I would say both. You know, I think that's definitely what the game needed, um, you know, a, a spark from us, um, from, from anybody. Um, you know, I, I think for me early on in the season, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't in the right mindset when I was playing out there. Uh, when, when it came to the, the, the things I was good at, um, which is, you know, just playing aggressive, cutting, slashing, getting out and running. Um, but, you know, I think um, when, I, when I was playing recently, I was, I was getting back to myself and, and, and playing well and, and playing the way that I know I can play. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I think whenever, I, whenever I'm, I'm back out there now, I'll, I'll, I'll be playing that way where it's just, you know, run, running and gunning, um, making shots, making cuts, um, kind of getting our team going. I know you're not someone to, you know, to make any excuses, but I think it'd be a very human thing to have been distracted at the beginning of the year when you, when your wife is pregnant and such. Did, was that, was that weighing on you at all at the beginning of the season? Um, no, I mean, I wouldn't say that that was weighing on me too much. Um, you know, I think, 
I think, you know, sometimes going into a season, you you have an expectation for how it's going to go. And then if it doesn't go that way, those, those first couple of games, you know, I think, I think mentally I wasn't in, in, in the right place. Um, and I, I think I was able to, to, to dig myself out of that. Jake, are you more comfortable at the small forward spot? Uh, I would say yes. Um, but I, I mean, I think, I think for our, our offense, um, the, the, the three or four is kind of the same. But on the other end, you know, especially maybe if you're matched up against a big, I have to imagine that, you know, especially if it's something we have to work hard and maybe struggle at, that probably also takes away from the other end as well. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Um, you, know, you know, I think I think for me, if I, if I want to play significant minutes for us, um, you know, I, I need to be able to guard one one through four uh, with, with no problem. I think. Then you were in a rhythm that last time. Um, were you confident that that rhythm could sustain even a few games later? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, I know my game. Um, you know, I think once I kind of get, get in a rhythm with, with, with a certain group out there as well, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to, to be pretty effective for us.